Hello, and welcome to another unboxing video sponsored by Connectus. My name is Brian East, and today we will look at the CradlePoint E3000 cellular router. And this device is part of the CradlePoint branch deployment series of fixed wireless routers and adapters, along with the W2005, E300, and the W1850. This particular device is the big brother of the already powerful E300. Now, each of these branch tailored routers and adapters has standardized C-band support, net cloud management, and robust hardware inside. The E3000 unit is an indoor device, along with the E300 and the W1850, while the W2005 unit is outdoor. However, all support the CradlePoint captive modem feature, which allows an external Ethernet connected modem to be placed closer to the signal source. This is perfect for scenarios where the router would live in a low signal strength area, like a server room, for example. The NetCloud service package for the E3000 includes router software for optimizing routing, VPN, SD-WAN, and security capabilities. The cloud capabilities include group policy definition, reports, troubleshooting, and analytics dashboards. This service includes a warranty for as long as there is an active subscription on the router. It also includes online training, live and online support, and all software and firmware updates. Now what makes this device, as well as other CradlePoint Enterprise 5G routers, so special is the zero-touch deployment and day one connectivity. You do not need a dedicated IT network engineer to make this work. A restaurant owner can open the box and have blazing fast internet speeds in less than 15 minutes in most cases. This ease also comes with power. Using the NetCloud Manager, you're able to set cutting edge security practices complex routing and tunneling, and robust failover redundancy with little difficulty. Now this device boasts end-to-end -end device security through OpenVPN, access control, encrypted configuration, monitoring, threat alerts, hacker prevention, and password protection, along with many more advanced security features. All right, now let's take a look. First thing you'll notice when you open the box is a little insert. It's directing you to download the app if you haven't already, the CradlePoint Verify app, onto your smartphone. And this will help you to get your new device set up into the NetCloud Manager account. Uh, all of your configuration will be done in the NetCloud Manager account. And a whole bunch of legal and technical jargon that we're not gonna go over, very tiny print. And then underneath here, is the CradlePoint E3000 antenna alignment instructions. So you've got multiple ways in which you can conf uh, configure your mounting. And if you look on the back here, you've got different screw holes that apply to different configurations, whether you want it upright or inverted at a 90 or 270 degree angle. And then over on this side is your instructions for, well, and we'll go over the antenna alignment tool in a little bit. And now we have our E3000. At first, we'll start on the back. You've got four uh, cellular antenna connect, uh, connectors and four connectors for your Wi-Fi antennae. You've got an expansion slot here. It could be really cool if you add like a Bluetooth connection for, for uh, our Bluetooth module for Bluetooth connections. And you've got a little screw here for your grounding. This is your little reset button as well. USB port is for manual configurations. And now you've got five regular ethernet ports, LAN ports here. But then you also have another four here and these are gonna all be PoE. This blue one on the far right is a 2.5 gig WAN port. Now it says WAN, you can configure any of these to be WAN, but this, you know, being the, the fastest throughput, this would make the most sense. And you also have a console port here. Your SFP plus, Module connection is right there, and you've got your Molex 4-pin Molex power adapter and your toggle switch. Now flipping it over, here's the front of the device. 
You see right over here is a rather large SIM gate. And the reason it's so large is that you've got space for a second modem. There is an embedded 5G modem in here and you can add a second modem in there for increased throughput. You'll also notice on the back of this gate here is a little metal device. And this corresponds to a magnetic sensor that's inside of the gate. It must be connected in there and touching for the device to power on. So if your gate's open, it won't turn on. Also, there's another sensor here so that if you want the device to have throughput, which assuming you do, you'll need to screw in that slot to secure, put in the screw in that little hole to secure the, the gate. Now you've got dual SIM slots here, uh, one and two. Always you're gonna wanna put your primary into slot one and your secondary into two. If you're only gonna use one SIM, I recommend putting it in a slot one. Uh, that way, if in the future you decide to introduce a second SIM, maybe for cellular diversity or for added throughput, it'll be less configuration if you uh, put that secondary one in your second port. Now on the back here, you'll see four holes uh, on the corners here. And there's a small kit of accessories uh, underneath here, and I'll go into that in a second, but it's got rubber feet that you can attach uh, for if you're just gonna set it on a rack or, or something like that or on a flat surface. And then we bring in our wall mounting template. And so you've got screws that are going to correspond to the different mounting configurations that you can choose and, and you'll use this template to screw the whole the wall the holes into the wall. Uh, as you're assembling this product, you'll probably want to A come up with a location of where you're going to mount it first and then drill your pilot holes and put your screws into the wall uh, second before you actually start assembling the device. Now assembling the device is very simple and very quick. Uh, and as I mentioned a moment ago, the first thing you're going to want to do is settle on a location to mount your device. Uh, keep in mind environmental factors like heat, uh, static, electromagnetic interference. Find the best slot, spot to put it, uh, attach the feet if you want to, those rubber feet I mentioned. And they come inside the small accessories uh, uh, boxes or, or drill the screws into the wall. Uh, there's some wall anchors that come in there as well. Once you've done that, we're gonna first put your SIMs, SIM or SIMs in there. And like I said, remember that you're not going to be able to power on the device unless this gate is closed. And then for throughput, you're gonna to have to screw in. And there's a, a miniature screw, it's much smaller than the rest. And you're gonna need a small uh, Phillips head screwdriver to screw this in. When you're inserting your SIMs, Make sure that you put the copper edge facing down and the notched edge forward. Otherwise you could, well it won't work, but then you could also damage both the SIM and the device itself. Once you've done that, you'll put the gate back on, you'll screw in your screw here, and we'll move on to antennae. We'll turn this around here. And the first thing that we'll put on is our cellular antennae or rather our Wi-Fi antennae. So these are both going to go at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz spectrum. And depending on what's the, the environmental factors, do you want more distance or do you want more throughput? And you can decide that way. Now the same goes with these paddle antennae for the cellular uh, paddles, uh, connectors. You're gonna wanna screw them in thumb tight. Obviously, if you screw them in too tight, you risk damaging the equipment. And if you don't screw them in tight enough, then they're wobbly and you'll probably have some signal, signal degradation in there. And we've got one more. It doesn't hurt to fan out your Wi-Fi antennae a little bit. And when we're working with our cellular antenna, and I'm not gonna go into the science behind it, 
but having uh, this, these connections come in waves. And so we're going to want to have half of our antennae straight up and the other half facing at a 90 degree angle. You're going to want to drop your main and your MIMO 1 antennas right there. Lay this guy flat here. And then we'll take our alignment tool and just click it in. And now it's aligned. Next, you'll plug your device into the wall and the power will go into your power adapter in the back here. Make sure that your device is toggle switch is set to powered off. You want this thing fully uh, plugged in and then powered on from the device itself. And now you're ready to go. The Cradle Point Net Cloud for Branch with E3000 Series Enterprise Router is suited for fixed offices, healthcare, financial services, and retail locations. Ideally, would combine with the need for security services that scale with performance. This all in one form factor includes full featured routing, security, switching with PoE ports, and Wi Fi making it easy to connect branches to the internet and critical applications without the need of extra hardware or complicated configurations. This is Brian East with another Connectus sponsored unboxing video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code on the following slide. I'll see you next time.